Oh, good day, mate. 40 here, and like, bloody hell. Like, when I said we have to take back this country, I didn't mean, like, literally a coup. When, when I was telling you, look, it's 1776, I meant 1776 spiritually. All right? When I said we have to fight for our rights to party, I meant fight spiritually. I didn't mean bloody hell take over, over Capitol Hill. So we've got uh, Donald Trump's last day in office. But guys, this is no time to go wobbly. Am I talking to wankers? Am I talking here to fornicators? Am I talking here to adulterers? Am I talking here to blokes who are just going to lie down and allow the woman to do all the work? Just you know, give up because the guy they didn't vote for is taking is not taking office as president? Or am I talking to godly men? Am I talking to patriots? Am I talking to, to nationalists? Guys, it's 1776, spiritually, right? Now, I've been telling you for years now, my kingdom is not of this world. I'm talking spiritually, it's 1776. I'm saying spiritually, we have to take back our country, all right? I'm saying we need a, a spiritual revolution. My kingdom is not of this world. Look, this is a spiritual war that we are fighting against principalities and powers, right? We, we're not gonna take on the principalities and the powers by storming Capitol Hill. We need to storm the Capitol Hill in our own souls. That's where you wanna clean up Capitol Hill, start with the Capitol Hill in your own psyche. Start with the Capitol Hill in your own soul. That's where we need to storm Capitol Hill. Bloody hell, guys. The January 6th, we got all out of control. Look, our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Our struggle is against the rulers, against the authorities. It's against the elites. It's against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. We come here to this sacred space to storm the heavens. We say, I do not consent to be lied to. Now, some of you went too far January 6th. Like, you, you just stormed America's clitoris, right? There's no need to go stampeding off to the clitoris. Bloody hell, guys. What's wrong with a good kiss on the lips? What's wrong with a coffee date? What's wrong with a little bit of romance? You don't just go storming America's clitoris. Like, some of you are eager beavers and... I, I admire your enthusiasm, but let's go step by step here. You don't just rush into America's furry fun zone. You don't just pound your way into the furry fun zone. You don't occupy the furry fun zone with violence. You have to prepare the furry fun zone. You have to water it, not with the blood of patriots, all right? We don't water the furry fun zone with the blood of patriots. Bloody hell. Guys, no, you water the soil with essentia alkaline water you make it want you you'll see when it wants you it'll be all quivering and it'll be all glistening and it'll open up to you and and america will pull you inside of her and america will arch her back to receive you and she will wrap her arms around you and she will scream make me yours i want to be your property okay so i'm talking old-fashioned values here i'm talking spirituality all right whatever happened to courtship you don't just Gang bang America like a whore. Bloody hell, guys. You don't pull a train on the United States of America. America's a lady. All right? Now, you might be saying, 40, you're out of touch. You're a fuddy duddy. Like, I just want to gang bang America. But that doesn't work. That's not a life that works. All right? Fuck. They sentenced me to eight years of boredom under Barack Obama. Now they're sentencing me to four years under Joe Biden and Kamala Harris or for just trying to change the system from within. Well, I'm coming now spiritually. I'm coming now spiritually. I'm coming to reward them. I tell you, verily, verily, I say unto you this day, first we take Manhattan, then we take Berlin. I am guided by a signal in the heavens. I'm guided by this mark on my skin, right? I'm guided by the beauty of our spiritual weapons. First we take Manhattan, then we take Berlin. Look, I'd really like to live beside you. I love your body and your spirit and your clothes. But you see that lie there moving through the station? I told you, I told you I was one of those. You loved me as a loser, but now you're worried that I just might win. You know the way to stop me, but you don't have the discipline. How many nights have I prayed for this? To let my work begin. 
First we take Manhattan, then we take Berlin, and then Capitol Hill, spiritually. Spiritually, guys. We're talking about a spiritual war.